The moons in the solar system are a very special objects. They also have a tradition in determining our view, how we see the world. Galileo in 1610, he was the first to observe the, the moons of, I of, of Jupiter. And when he did this, then a really a revolutionary activity started in history. And today, they are worlds on their own rights. And sometimes I wonder if this is the kind of world where even life might exist somehow. The cameras are body fixed, so you see the cameras here and in this model. And if you are looking on a, a, a the surface, for instance, if you are on the surface like this here, then the camera is looking exactly at you. But if you want to look on the side, then you have to turn the whole spacecraft, this, which weighs several tons. And this, this is called attitude, and this has to be defined by the scientists and the people that are doing the observations. There are a lot of interesting features on the surface. The most interesting one, and the one that is also very puzzling, since one third to one half of the surface is almost as dark as coal, while the other half, or a little more than half of the other part of the surface, has the brightness of snow. This ridge is exactly at the equator, but interestingly, it's not going around the whole circumference. So it's, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's about 20 kilometers high. So it's a really huge uh, elevation that you have there. And then at some uh, places, it's a continuous ridge. Then at others, it's isolated mountains. And then suddenly it becomes bright mountains and not dark anymore. So it's a very diverse feature.